everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm feeling like a proper YouTuber um, because I was quick off the mark and I have um, a new reviewing video for you. This time it's on the ABH Soft Glam eyeshadow palette and the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezy uh, highlighter. I'm sure you've seen this flying about quite a lot on Instagram. I had to check it out for myself. So if you want to know my thoughts on both these products then keep on watching. Hi everyone. Um, I'm feeling like a real YouTuber today. Uh, so I just got this delivered to my house. Um, and this is the brand new, or it should be, I haven't even opened the box yet. ABH could have played me. This is the brand new uh, Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And also the uh, Amrezy X ABH uh, highlighter. Anyway, um, let's open this up. Okay, first off I will say it's not as well packaged as I would like it to be. Um, in the box. There's only like two bits of paper. Um, and one bit of what's this called bubble wrap um so hopefully it's not smashed because i'll be very upset if it's smashed um but we have the uh, palette and the highlight i'm so excited to try them um, ooh, it's got that beautiful um it's not velvet but it feels a bit like velvet um texture on the front of it and then it just has soft glam embossed into it and then abh um and then it's got all the like ingredients and things on the back so it's not smashed so that's good um i'll just take the little brush out that comes with it and actually get it out there we go i actually really like these brushes that come with the abh palette i think that they're um good usually when brands send you um put brushes in their like makeup products i'm usually like meh what be using that and shit but they're actually really good um so here she is absolutely beautiful um and actually a lot nicer in person than i thought it would have been i know that uh, navina who is the president of abh actually said that when she was creating this palette um in her mind she wanted to create something for her mum who is the queen of neutrals and she also wanted to create something for makeup artists when they are on bridal jobs. This is really nice and I think this is going to be uh, perfect for bridal and for prom season coming up. Um, and also, you know, there's enough in there for you to create a daytime look, but also enough in there for you to create a more dramatic, smoky nighttime look. But you know me, I'll wear smoky in the daytime. I don't care. So I just want to do a small little comparison uh, to Modern Renaissance. Modern Renaissance is probably ABH's biggest, uh, most popular palette today. Um, mine has been very well loved. That one is Modern Renaissance and the bottom one is the new palette, the Soft Glam. This palette to me screams like summer and holidays and vacations. Um, and this one says to me, bridal, I think, like natural bridal spring those kind of vibes whereas this one to me the modern renaissance does like just scream summer and um, so this retails for 43 pounds um it's currently available on the anastasia beverly hills website um, you don't actually stock abh in any shops in the uk um so the other place that you'll be able to get it is online um so you'll be looking at anastasia beverly hills.co.uk or maybe uh, Beauty Bay might stock it and Cult Beauty might stock it if it becomes enough of a big hit and a success. We'll talk about the highlighter. So this is the highlighter. The packaging feels so nice. It's like, it's cardboard, but it almost feels like rubber. And then it's got the Anastasia Beverly Hills embossed into it and then Amrezy and then all these beautiful stars around here. So if you don't know who Amrezy is, she is a uh, influencer. I don't know if she does YouTube actually. I'm not sure. I know that she's definitely on Instagram and she is huge on Instagram. And you'll probably have seen lots of pictures of her flying about, uh, even if you don't actually realise that it's her. Um, 
she's fit. She's fit. <laughs> she's really fit and she's a boss. So um, the uh, campaign pictures for this were unreal. Um, so this is the packaging out of the box. So it's like a shiny compact and it's got like little stars all over it. Then the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezy. And then the back is rose gold. Wow. I mean, this. Look at that. That is stunning. How did they even manage to do that? That is so pretty. It looks like water or like sand ripples. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got a nice big mirror on there as well, which I appreciate. That is beautiful. The highlighter is £29 and um, you get 9 grams, not 0.31 ounces. I don't know how that compares to other highlighters. I think that's around standard. It looks like a fairly big pan um, and I've just... One minute. Sorry about that, it's half term, so I've got Dolly here with me at the moment. And I'm completely ready for her to go back to the nursery. I'm not sure uh, how this uh, fares in comparison to other highlighters. Um, I'm guessing it's around the same. The pan is very big and I would imagine that it would take you quite a while to work your way through that. Unless you're an absolute highlight queen, then maybe not. So let's do a little bit of makeup. Um, tonight I am actually going to watch the new Fifty Shades uh, Freed. Uh, is it Fifty Shades Freed? Is it? Is that the last one? Yeah, I'm off to go watch the new Fifty Shades Freed tonight with um, my good friend Emily that you've already met. She came with me to P. Louise. Um, so yeah, I need to put on a little bit of makeup anyway if I'm going out. So we might as well test this little baby out see how she performs i think the first color i'm gonna go in with is um i'm just gonna take the abh brush that comes in the palette and i'm gonna gonna go into a uh, burnt orange in fact let's zoom you in shall we yeah you can see me now i've already prepped my lids um with a little bit of concealer and i've already done my brows um, and done all my skin prep as well so just with the fluffy end of this brush, I'm going to go into uh, Burn Orange. Wow. Okay, so I will say you do get quite a lot of kickback from it. I don't know if you can, I don't want it to go all over. Um. So just be gentle when you're putting your brush into it. That's all I'll say. Let's just tap off that excess because that's not necessary. And then I'm going to go into the shade uh, Orange Soda, which is the brighter orange. Okay, and then using this uh, more denser end of the ABH brush, I'm just going to go into the shade Tempera. And I'm just going to run this along the brow bone. Then I'm going to go into the shade uh, Sienna. And then I'm just uh, popping a little bit of concealer onto the lid. And then uh, on top of that, I'm going to use the colour Sultry. And then I'm going to go into the colour um, 
what's this called rose pink this like pink shimmery color this looks really pretty lastly i'm gonna go into the shade fairy which is like a light yellow gold um i actually really like that so just to deepen it up just a smidge i'm gonna go into uh, this shade here which is mulberry which is a nice uh, deep warm brown happy for that i'm just gonna clean up and do this eye off camera and i'll be back when i'm finished okay so that is eyes finished um for now i've popped on some uh lashes they're just the cheryl and isla lashes i think they're in the style girls night they're really they're quite natural and quite small for me um but i'm having a little bit of a hard time putting on false lashes at the moment i don't know why um but if they're quite long or they've got like a little bit of a thicker band i just can't do it on myself on other people i'm fine but on myself i just can't put them on i don't know why i don't know if it's because i get a little bit older now my eyes just can't hack it anymore so i've just gone for a little bit of a softer lash and overall so far i'm very impressed with the palette i think it is really nice and while i was doing the look that i was doing i was like looking at the colors and i was like Oh, but I could use, you know, this colour, this colour, this colour, and that would create a completely different look. And I could use these colours, and that would create a completely different look. So, um, yeah, very impressed with that so far. Not quite finished yet, though. Um, now I'm just going to move on to skin. I've already prepped my skin, usual stuff. Um, I am just going to pop on. I am just going to pop on a little bit of this. This is new. This is from Kate Hayes. Um, if you don't know who Kate is, if you don't know who Kate Hayes is, uh, she is a makeup artist and she is from Liverpool. And this time last year, I won a huge competition uh, that she was running on Instagram and it was a full kit. Um, and uh, it was fantastic to win that competition. She helped me out no end by stocking up my kit. So I have to say a massive thank you to you, Kate um and she now brought out some makeup products so i had to support so uh, this is the uh illuminator that she brought out and it is called mother of pearl and i'm just gonna brush this all over Then for foundation today i'm using the um my new current favorite my nars uh, natural radiant longwear foundation in the shade punjab and it's going to be a touch dark for me today so i'm going to mix in a little bit of my ordinary serum foundation in the shade 1.1 fair <laughs> I'm going to mix two concealers. I'm going to use the uh, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow and my Tarte Shape Tape. And then I'm just going to bake um, just a little bit with my uh, Ben Night Luxury Powder in uh, Cameo. And while I've got that powder in my eyes, I'm going to go back into the Soft Glam palette and I'm just going to do my under eyes. Going straight in with a mix of the Burnt Orange and the Orange Soda. And then just a tiny bit of Mulberry on the RV just to darken it up a little bit. And now it's time for highlights. So going into the uh, Amrezy X uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight um, and I will be using my uh, Crown C529 brush. So I'm going to give this a, a fair shot. I've not done anything else to my face. I've not put any uh, liquid highlight down i've not sprayed any setting sprays i've not wet my brush this is a dry brush dry formula and we're just going to pop it on and see how it looks
skin just looks wet that is stunning <laughs> that is so nice now let me tell you story time so um do you remember the uh, charlotte Tilbury hot lips video that i did where i tried on all the hot lips collection well last week um a lovely little individual decided to comment on that video and say that my uh nose highlight is too much and she's not impressed so Seeing as my nose highlight offends everyone so much. Enjoy! Lining my haters with my nose highlight. I'm like, I literally got a game of the highlight I like. It is so beautiful. Before I move on to bronzer, I'm going to do my new trick of putting on a, a dark highlighter before. So I'm going to mix the uh, bronzed and the tourmaline highlights out of the uh, sun dipped palette. If you're wondering why I do this, it's so that I get a smoother transition um, from like white highlight to bronzer. And it just gives you that kind of Victoria's Secret like angel glow, you know? And isn't that what we all really want? And then for bronzer, trusty Nas Laguna. And for lips, um, I think it's only right if we're doing a, an ABH review that we use a liquid lippy by her. So this is the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lip in the shade milkshake uh, super light I actually used this in my last tutorial I'm gonna use the same uh, lip combo that I did in the last tutorial because surprisingly I actually really liked it even though I didn't think that I would but I did so I'm gonna do that combo with this <laughs> And then to finish off the look completely, I'm going to use the K Hayes Makeup uh, Spray Glow Setting Spray. Okay, so final overall thoughts. First off, the Soft Glam Palette. I have absolutely zero issues with the formula of this one. I would say that the formula is around the same as the Modern Medicines anyway. Um, I found the Modern Medicines to be super pigmented and when I showed other super pigmented if you really don't your brush in and bash your brush in yeah you're gonna get a load of kickback from it because it's packed full of colour and a colour pigment it might seem like it's packed full of powder because it's kicking back so much but it's actually not MAC eyeshadows that are not that really that good sorry um they're the kind of eyeshadows that you really have to work to get the colour on the brush and um, you don't have to do that with these eyeshadows. If you're going on it on terms of how many shades am I getting for my amount of money then yeah you're not getting that much really for your money and the pans are quite small but like I said super pigmented you only need a little tiny bit of your brush to get the most out of it so it should last you a while. I've had this for over a year and look There's still plenty in there to keep it going for another two years, maybe. £43 is, is a lot of money for an eyeshadow palette, and yes, not everybody can afford that. There are other eyeshadow, that, eyeshadow palettes out there that are similar and that will do a similar job. But would I kind of sit here and be like, oh my god, you're going to die if you don't buy this eyeshadow palette? No, I'm not going to say that. Um, you can live without it. At the end of the day, it's just a neutral palette. As beautiful as it is, as lovely as it is, 
you know, the mattes, I had no trouble working with them. They were really creamy, super pigmented. The shimmers were really easy to work with and very pigmented. Um, so, I have no complaints about it. Yes, it is pricey. Uh, yes, I did get a little bit of kickback. And yes, I did get a little bit of fallout from it. But that's to be expected. It's a high pigmented palette. palette. This is the first one in a while that I've actually bought is usable, wearable, I'm going to get my money's worth out of it and um, I'm going to get a lot of enjoyment out of it really, um, much the same as this one. Now moving on to the highlighter, um, again formulation wise I have absolutely no issues with this, it's absolutely gorgeous, I love how like, it's like squidgy, it's like soft, you know what I mean, it's not powdery or crumbly, as you can see highly pigmented, very blinding, if you build it up you can just do you know, a little one two and you'll get that super soft lip from within glow, um, I really love this, I mean the mirror is great, the pan size is great, the packaging is beautiful, £29 is a lot for a highlighter, again it's just a highlighter, you can probably get one that's quite similar um, in colour um, elsewhere for cheaper, um, but for me, this is probably the first highlighter that I've put on for a while where I've kind of thought I don't need to put on another one over the top of it. I do like to double highlight um, and I didn't need to do that with this one. It was it was there, the pigment was there, the glowingness was there straight away and I didn't need to double up. It's just really nice, it's super glowy, it's making, giving my skin that like wet look which I absolutely love. Um, this is definitely a firm favourite and well worth it. Do I think that you'll die if you don't buy this? Um, do you know what? Yeah, I kind of do think you'll die if you don't buy it. So um, I am definitely putting my seal of approval onto this one. It is beautiful and well done to ABH and I'm really for creating this. And well done to Davina for coming up with this. This is, I have to say, I'm going to call this a comeback palette, that's what I'm going to call it after all the bullshit that went around about ABH, the dropping off, oh what's gone wrong, you know, they're ripping us off, like they've lost their magic touch, it's not there anymore, you know what, they've still got it, this is beautiful, the most requested looks on YouTube and by makeup artists are warm toned neutral soft glam looks. That is it for this review and first impressions video guys, I really hope you have enjoyed it and um, I hope you found it informative for anybody that's kind of still sat on the fence a little bit about whether they're going to get it or not and um, I hope I've managed to swing you either way. Don't forget to like and subscribe um, and I will see you in the next one, bye!